Hey guys, um, this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything like that. I'm just going to pretty much talk. And I guess like express my feelings and like tell you all what happened. But, uh, I have been crying if you can't really tell. But yeah, I have been, and okay, so I'm gonna try not to cry during this, but I probably will because it hurts me like so much. But uh, one of my friends, I'll just call her. I don't know, I'll just say she's my friend. Um, she got grounded from the computer for about a month, I think, on June 16th. And, uh, she didn't tell me why. She said she would tell me later. Cause I talked to her that night. And I texted her, I said, hey, if you need to talk, you have me here, she didn't reply, and her text a couple weeks later saying, hey, she didn't reply or anything, I posted on her wall a bunch, and she didn't say or do anything, and, uh, I, uh, sent her a message on Facebook, I think August 2nd, because it had been over a month since she got ungrounded, or almost a month since she got ungrounded, and uh, I asked her, I said, hey, are you like mad at me or something, and she waited until today to like reply or anything. And what she said was, um, I have been putting this message off, but when I got grounded, it was because mom got on my Facebook and read through messages. She saw ours. She knows you smoke, therefore she doesn't want me hanging with you. I wasn't thrilled about the idea, but when I realized she had a point, but then I realized she had a point. I'm afraid if I hang with you too much, I will start and I don't want that. It's a bad habit. I have went to two church camps this summer and they have made a difference in me. I'm breaking my foul language habit and I've been thinking about getting baptized. I've, if you don't smoke anymore, I will hang with you. And when you talk to me, you have to respect. I don't want to hear your, hear or use that language anymore. I'm here, I haven't talked to you, wait, I don't want to hear or use that language anymore, I'm sorry I haven't talked to you about this earlier, but I didn't know how to put it, I was scared of your response, and that seriously like devastated me, cause she's like, one of the best friends I've ever had, like, ever had point blank like I love this chick she's amazing I love her so much she's like she's literally like a sister to me and uh yeah I said her uh Diane because I saw she was online I said I'm sorry she just said yeah I said I mean it, I really am, I mean it. You're like the only friend I don't want to lose at all. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry. I'll quit, I promise. I don't want to lose you as a friend for at all. And if you all are wondering, uh, I used to occasionally smoke weed. But I'm not anymore at all. 
she said i can see you trying to quit and will for a while but i can see you going right back to it yeah i don't want to lose you either i can tell you anything and everything i said if i made that promise to you i would keep it especially now especially knowing that it would mean i'd be able to hang with you i respect you 100 percent and i try my hardest to change and not to do that at all for any drugs any drugs of that matter you're the only friend that I tell everything to, no matter how big or how small. I know I can trust you with it. I'm willing to change 100%. I'll send you a message on here if you would show it to your mom, please. She pretty much told me that the high school I'm going into goes on, like, lockdown. And they have, like, drug tests sometimes, too. And, uh... I told her, I was like, I'm sorry, that's the only thing I can say right now, because that's what I am, I'm sorry, I'm so, so, so sorry, I'm just sorry, point blank, I'm going to change, seriously, like, I'll do whatever it takes to quit, and make it official that I'm quitting, and I told her, I was like, I want it one, I want it 100% set in stone, so I won't do it, and I want to keep this promise to you. And, yeah, so, that's what happened, pretty much. And it kills me, like, so freaking much, because she's, like, the one friend that I talk to 24-7 every single day, no matter what. I Skype with her, like, all the time, or at least I used to. I used to like tell her everything, no matter what. And you know, it's just like, so hard to actually lose somebody that you've been friends with for, like you have that close of a relationship with them. Like I've known her since I was in sixth grade and she was in seventh and she's been like my best friend since then and I, don't want to lose her like whatsoever because she's like my go-to girl she's 100 percent she's always been there for me she's she's like the sister i've never had like, I know I'll probably say that, like, a lot in my lifetime and everything, but she seriously is the sister I've never had. I love her so freaking much. She is... I don't even know how to explain it. She is just, like... She, like, amazes me, and I love her, like, so freaking much. I don't want to lose her at all. So yeah, um, sorry for like me crying and all that stuff, but I figured I'd just go ahead and show you all, or like let you all hear, like where I'm coming from right now I guess. So yeah, um. I really don't want any hate comments or anything, but I understand I'll probably get them. So yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Hi guys.